Okay. So, two more things I want you guys to try. I've noticed this a while ago, but I'm finally saying something because, again, I just want to put it through the test a few more times. Because if I'm doctoring my documents or information, it's only going to hurt me. Um, and I try not to do that because, again, there's no reason for it. Um, and what I'm talking about is I want you guys to try to play a free roll. No, don't do it in a real cash game or a real cash tournament that you're paying money. Do it in a free roll. I want you to play. I want you to play the aggressor. And I want you to see how many times you lose as playing the aggressor, aggressor and what people are calling you with. Then I want you to do another one. But this time, I want you to sit back and don't play the aggressor and see how much more you win when not playing the aggressor and see what people are calling you with. The reason I want you to do that is because it is every time I'm playing the aggressor and I actually have a great hand, I still, well, regardless, I still lose. But this, I really, really lose at. But the times that I'm not playing the aggressor, I'm just sitting back, just calling, just calling, just letting them bet into me. Even when I have it, don't even raise. I wind up winning. I don't win a great big pot. I win basically the bare minimum, but I win. And I've noticed that. I've noticed that. The next thing I want you guys to do also is... Um, Take notes for the people that you think are crazy or not crazy, but the things that you the, the, the players that you think that aren't players, maybe bots, employees, in-house players uh, or whatever the case may be. I want you guys just to leave a note under there and I want you guys to watch how many times they pop up and move around you. That means they sit them in front of you. They'll move them behind you. You're switching tables, but they still ha happen to be right there on your tail. And I want you to note how many times they beat you out of each and every hand. I said two things, but there's actually three things I want you to also do too. I want you to... Um, Take note of the players that always in tournaments, they'll play a few hands and all of a sudden they're they're sitting out. They're just sitting out, just sitting out, just sitting out. I want you guys to, to take note of that and to mark those down. See how far those uh, certain players get. Because a lot of times I'm seeing they're getting pretty far with doing not much of anything. I call those hand uh, those accounts um, push accounts. Accounts that just sit there. They want to fill up the the ACR wants to fill up their tournaments, make them look full, um, but also make sure a lot of that money isn't going to other people except back to ACR. So I want you guys to look into that as well. Just keep your eyes open. Check those out. <laughs>